Hello friends, today I'm going to explain the poster focusing on astrocyte science. These are the images of the same source crab nebula formed as a result of bright supernova explosion of massive star. The crab nebula is seen with instruments, telescope active in different regions of electromagnetic spectrum from radio to gamma ray energies. This object looks different in different energy range of the electromagnetic spectrum. This explains the necessity that to understand the object completely, a multi-web band, ob multi band observations are necessary to probe the physical processes and interconnection among these processes. The data from the astrophysical objects are received in the form of photons. These photons provide information about the direction through imaging technique, energy through spectrum, polarization and timing through source variability study. Astrocyte plays a very crucial role as the energy range of the onboard detectors telescopes spans from optical to X-ray ranges and thus provides a very good understanding of the source. To list a few scientific goals of Astrosat is the first is the multi-wave band study, then to understand the high energy processes ongoing, to study the magnetic field, star, study the star formation regions, detect very new bright transient sources, and perform a deep uh, field survey of the universe at ultraviolet energies. Now coming to the astrocyte operation, how it happens. When the observer writes a proposal, then after the appropriate uh, review, time is allocated to those observations. When the proposal is scheduled, then the, the commands to trigger the observations are sent to the satellite by ISRO. Further, high quality data is received from the satellite at ISRO. These raw data sets are sent to POC or instrument teams for basic data reduction. These data products are then sent back to ISRO to be uploaded to Astro Browser Archive for the user to analyze the data further for appropriate science results. With a lot of AstroSat data being released to the public and more such releases expected in the near future, the ASSC that is AstroSat Science Support Cell plays a crucial role in providing the opportunity and means for larger scientific community to take part in optical utilization of AstroSat data, both for making observations and for utilizing archival data. SSC organizes meetings, workshop webinars, and train users in these activities. Run a deep, uh, uh, it also runs a help desk to address queries, provides uh, utility tools, and disseminates analysis software to a consolidated web portal. Now, as, uh, like there are various sources uh, AstroSat observes. To categorize a few of them, for example, uh, this one is AGN, active galactic nuclei. What are AGNs? Many galaxies have a very bright nuclei. So, uh, that the central region is much more luminous than the remaining light, galaxy light. These nuclei are called active galactic nuclei. These galaxies with usual energetic uh, activities includes high energy jets. They are related to the central supermassive black hole. Another class of sources are compact binary systems. They are uh, like uh, in this kind of systems, there are two objects which are gravitationally bound together. One is a compact object, which may be a black hole, neutron star or white dwarf as a primary or accretor, which accretes matter from the normal companion star. The radiations or emissions are produced by matter falling from the donor normal star to the accretor. Another category of uh, source interest is transient sources. And what are transient? It means passing away with time or variable with time. And it is not permanent. These sources seem to appear in the sky for a short time and then disappear. Some of them eventually reappear regularly or irregularly. The variability which we observe can span from a few seconds to years. It is important to remember that this object in the sky does not disappear. It is just the extra emission ceases to appear in the observation. Transient behavior is expected to occur due to sudden changes in the accretion rate of the compact objects like neutron star or black holes. Next class of sources are GRBs or gamma ray bursts. What are gamma ray bursts? These are short lived bursts of gamma ray lights. The most energetic, in, they are very energetic and last anywhere from few milliseconds to several minutes. This object shines hundreds of times brighter than a typical supernova and about million and trillions of times brighter than the sun. 
when a grb erupts it is briefly the brightest source of the cosmic gamma ray photons in the observable universe these objects are one of the biggest mystery in the high energy astronomy coming to the galaxy cluster these are the collection of hundreds of galaxies bound together by gravity dark matter gravitation uh, gravitation gravity the optical emission is mainly from galaxy while the extra emission is from intra cluster medium so astrosat instruments are of great importance to study these kind of sources and recently a very important work is published in nature astronomy by saha et al who discovered galaxy at a redshift of z equal to 1.42 and emitting extremely uv uh, photons there are various dedicated poster discussing each class of these type of sources uh, in the national science day poster so please go through all the posters and if you have any doubts or comments please write to the chat box thank you for your kind attention